when I was like kind of 11, 12, I couldn't really sing in the sense that I couldn't hit the right notes. So yeah, I couldn't sing. And then I started to listen to a lot of these big voices. There's a few that had more like, you know, a softer delivery and everything, but most of them were big voices. So I tried to do it and I just used to shout. When I released my first album, it was still quite shouty to me. I don't think it was the healthiest singing. And then you go on tour and you go, I can't keep this up. You know, you're doing a lot of shows. It's kind of almost six a week. And so I think it's gotten a little smoother, but I love it. I, I don't feel attached to the way my voice sounds uh, at any particular time. I like knowing that it will change. The album's called Staying at Tomorrow's and Shotgun was the very last song I wrote. In fact, I kind of went skipping into my record label going, I'm finished kind of thing. And the head of my record label, he said, I wonder if you have another song in you. I think you might. And I kind of was like, oh, I thought I was done, you know. Uh, I'm quite impatient at times. So although I love writing it, you know, I want to be on to the next thing. And Shotgun was the song that I then went and wrote. See, someone asked me what I like to do with my days off if I get one. So what I like to do is I wake up and I find a recipe on the internet that I've never cooked before. And then I walk to a supermarket and then I get what I need and I walk back and I try and pick a recipe that's going to take as long to cook as possible and then I spend the rest of the day doing that. You can come visit me anytime you want um, and I'll cook you something up. <laughs>